but okay. yeah, but we were dry and warm for Christmas yes. with temps in the lower 60s. This morning we are waking up with numbers primarily in the low to mid 30s outside. So compared to this time yesterday, we're actually situated anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees cooler out there this morning, feeling a little bit milder closer to Annapolis, sitting at a temperature of 41 degrees, 10 degrees cooler up in Parkton in the Hereford zone and 34 over towards Bel Air. I wanted to show you the road temperatures really quickly because this is going to be very important. I'm going to be tracking this and keeping a very close eye on this throughout the morning. Road temperatures right now are hovering just two degrees above freezing near the Mason Dixon line, and we do have some of this moisture headed our way courtesy of this warm front lifting in and through the area. We do have winter weather advisories out west for Garrett County as we are dealing with some snow, a mixture of even sleet and freezing rain for areas closer to the mountain ranges. But again, this moisture is heading in our direction and as temperatures fall a little bit, especially near the ground right around freezing or slightly above it, we could see that mixture of uh, really moving through our northern suburbs. So northern Baltimore, Hartford, Cecil and even Carroll counties could be seeing some of this light coating of ice or even snow on the roads. This could lead to very slippery and slick conditions as we head around noon. We're pretty much going to be done with that activity keeping a lot of the extra cloud cover around throughout the day. Temperatures will barely make it up to the mid 40s this afternoon, so quite a difference from what we've been dealing with over the past couple of days. A cold rain is definitely a possibility as we head into the afternoon hours throughout the evening as a cold front nears and kind of crosses the region. Uh, ice amounts look very minimal, less than 10th of an inch, but again, any coating of ice that we get could definitely create some slick spots, so make sure you take it easy when heading out the door on your morning drive and also make sure to dress warm as well as we are waking up with numbers in the 30s. We're going to rise into the mid and upper 30s right around 10 to 11 o'clock. Lunchtime, we're going to be flirting with the lower 40s this afternoon. And again, as we had around two to three o'clock in the afternoon, we are really going to struggle to hit the mid 40s out there because of those winds out of the east southeast. It's going to draw in some of that cooler air for us today. And yes, that cloud cover, it's going to help keep our temperatures kind of near average for this time of year. We're typically supposed to be around 45 degrees, so we're going to be right around that later on today. But I'm tracking rain chances and not just for this afternoon, but for the next few days, especially as we head into the upcoming weekend just in time for New Year's. So taking a look at your seven day forecast, we're going to be topping out right around 44 degrees this afternoon and as we head around 9 to 10 o'clock mainly just dealing with precipitation in the form of rain as temperatures rise above freezing lower to mid 50s heading into your Tuesday and yes we have multiple waves multiple windows of rain on tap not just for Tuesday but for Wednesday Thursday even throughout the first half of Friday so you will need the rain gear on standby make sure to dust it off you'll certainly need it as you head out the door today 55 degrees heading into your Friday afternoon dropping off into the 40s as we wake up for New Year's Eve. 56 degrees is going to be a higher temperature for Saturday and you will need the rain gear, especially if you have any New Year's Eve plans. And then for the start of the new year, temperatures are going to be well above normal in the mid to upper 50s. Megan? Wow. All right.